at that. It's like a black fox and he's got what looks like a chipmunk in his mouth. Wow. Never seen a black fox before. Saving it for later. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Immediately dug it back up. That's like me getting home with a bag of potato chips. Put them in the pantry, be like, no, I'm gonna save these for a while. I'm not gonna eat them. 10 minutes later, I'm back to open them. Awesome. Starting out a trip here on fittingly named Long Lake. It's over 80 kilometers long from top to bottom. Absolute giant. Really excited to explore it. Tomorrow morning I should be rendezvousing with a couple other guys for leg two of this trip down a remote river, probably just about never paddled, that drains into this lake. I'm pretty blown away by this lake. I've never heard of anyone talk about it, and I live in this area, it's so big. There's a town, a small town at the north end, Long Lac, and a, a fishing lodge, I believe. I don't know if it's in operation at the south end, but there's not a soul around. I have the whole place to myself, as far as I can tell, and it's beautiful. And the fish on pretty early here. It's a hot day. Great one to be on the water though. Betting pike. Yeah, looks like it. Uh-oh. Cut my line and I can see my lure floating over there. But the line is evidently stuck in his teeth. Wow. I <laughs> There's no hook in this fish. This is bizarre. I have, oh. oh, there he goes. <laughs> Just a mid-sized pike, that's crazy. I've never had that happen before. My lure is a floating lure. One more reason I like floating lures. I'm gonna go get that and see it back there. But that was like a mid 20 inch pike, which is nothing special around here. Loon's cooing over there. Huh. That's funny. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a huge Luna moth here in the water. I haven't seen a Luna moth in many years. This is actually the only the second one I've ever seen. I hope it's still alive. Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. These things are incredible. Look at that. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here and try and let it dry out. Just look at those long tails on the wings. Like, what a graceful, beautiful creature. Wow. That's so cool. Here you go, buddy. Pike hitting my lure here. Oh! Broken off again. Wow. And floated to the surface again. Wow, this lure, which is brand new, is now on its third life. First pike actually opened up the snap, crankbait snap there. That one snipped the line. This is 20 pound fluorocarbon, which is pretty abrasion resistant and it will sand up the pike's teeth to an extent but only to some degree. Okay, there we go. Wow. Really quite a strong fish. This isn't a small lure, so... Oh, holy 
smokes. <laughs> so it wasn't really like I had to change the lure to stop them from biting off, but I just sped up my retrieve so that they were more likely to, the hook would set right in the edge of the mouth as it's getting pulled out. Yeah, just a pretty thick one. Oh my goodness. My line, oh wow. I netted this pike and another one just hit my lure that was floating in the water. And my line is wrapped, which means that my drag isn't gonna work, which is not good for breaking off. Wow, my little pike honey hole. Oh my goodness. Let's see, two in one net. Oh my, no, the other one escaped. <laughs> That's wild. I'm not sure which one escaped, to be honest. I'm just gonna cut the line because the line is through his teeth, so allow me to get him back quicker and I'll just retie right after. Hands are still wet. Whew. Nice little torpedo and look at look at those uh, scars on him there. Dog eat dog down there, I tell you. Thanks for the bite. Cool. snack break here on this really cool island. Oh, that's not ideal. I brought two cans of beer. Figured they'd be fine since I was barely moving this at all. One of them broke open. Well, I may as well drink the rest of this now. I can't even see where it broke open. It's just a slow leak. Anyway, Another fish. Oh, just soaked me. That's okay, it's hot. Just gonna try and release him here at the side of the boat. Better for the fish. Thank you. We got a live one. Oh my goodness. Its wings are surprisingly strong. Oh. oh, it just spewed out white stuff. Well, kind of regretting saving you. That's nasty. That guy unfortunately wore out his welcome when he spent his seed up in the air out of his thorax, perhaps, all over himself and on my boat. Surprising how much a little thing had in there. Not, not nearly the grace of the Luna Moth. I'll think about picking up one of those next time. But anyway, it's a really cool moth. Huge. One of the biggest I've seen. So it seems like our little friend is having some trouble and immediately got himself back into the water. Not very bright either, um, in addition to his disgusting habits, but here at Moth Rescue 911, we don't discriminate and uh, we'll take him aboard since he seems utterly helpless. Beautiful beach here. I'm really taken by this lake. You had no idea what to expect other than that it was enormous and yeah, it's, it's really impressive.
Another floater. Smelt, I think. Good forage fish, whatever it is. It's an absolute war zone on the surface of this lake. Nice little dragonfly. And these guys need to be rescued because they eat lots of biting insects. Rest. You need rest. I'll bring you some broth. It's getting close to dinner, so I'm going to try and find somewhere to camp for the night. I'm going to cross over to the east shore so I'll have a sunset view. Hopefully find something really nice there. Just saw a bald eagle. This lake has been astounding. Open to set up camp on this island ahead. This looks pretty amazing for a random spot that I set as a target campsite. Great water access, big exposed rock for having a fire. Just need somewhere to hang the hammock and I'm calling this home. This is just an amazing spot. Perfect capper to the day. Wide view. Really nice rock. Lots of driftwood for firewood. Beautiful. <laughs> this little pond has some really interesting creatures in it. There's a snake in there for one. And then these little things crawling around. They look like Debris. Huh. Anyway, cheers. What a day. I'm gonna open up the barrel, get everything sprawled out to dry, since it's still a bit soaked in beer. <laughs> really cool spot. There, the only signs that I can see of anyone using it is a Kind of a bench here which looks intentional to me and then there are a few pieces of a uh, few limbs cut off of a piece of driftwood over there by a saw so but anyway pretty pristine some birch bark and some nice driftwood here I'm gonna cook up dinner first usually i like to get my shelter up first especially the tarp because you never know when rain's just gonna roll in unexpectedly but Today that's really unlikely. I'm going without the tarp tonight. It should be perfectly clear. Just stargazing. Well, I just took our buddy on to shore out of the canoe and an ant is immediately attacking him, so probably have to just leave him in the canoe. What a day. Nice spot in here for the drummer. Wild, rugged, cozy, perfect. Everything in the barrel is good and dry now. And funny enough, it was the one time I didn't put the beer cans in this dry bag. Keep all my liquids in here just in case alcohol fuel methyl hydrate it's toxic so i definitely want to separate that if if it was to leak scotch and oil in an algae container this 
I've never had leak. Nalgene, I really trust for that. But with no portages, I figured, ah, it's not gonna bounce around much. But, oh well, all good now. I still don't know how that second pike, when I was about to net both of them, I still don't know how it slipped out. I'm so confused by that. I've quadruple checked the net, there's no hole. A real mystery. I love coming into a trip like this with no expectations and being completely blown away. What a magical day. Glass tonight, I'd go out in the canoe and fish, but it's an early rise tomorrow. Got all my firewood prepped. I'll be up with the sun. Got an alarm set for the middle of the night to check out the stars. But that's it for today. Just after 2 a.m., the moon just set, so I got up to look at the stars, which are beautiful tonight. There's a barred owl hooting across the lake, loon calling out sometimes. Beautiful night. Fantastic campsite. That was an amazing day yesterday. Today, it's 6.30, I'm on the water to rendezvous early with the Robs and shuttle our vehicles to start the river section of this trip. Back to the landing, just wait for the Robs. We'll get started. Lots of old forestry relics here. I don't know if this is forestry related, but an old decrepit building with, it looks like the back seat of a, a car as a couch. Interesting, there was a crib down, down the road too. And I think I hear the robs coming. Yeah.
That dark cow caught my eye. And there's a calf in the bushes there too. Looks like anyway, that's what I'm seeing from here. Pretty far away. Awesome to see these moose here at the end of this trip and it is the end unfortunately. Rob's heart is acting up. He just got back from a, a short trip and his heart was giving him grief so that's not something to mess with in a remote river like the one we were planning on doing. He drove down to shuttle me but uh, I don't think I'm going to take it on alone. So that's the end. It was totally worth it for Long Lake. That was just spectacular. Got everything I could ask for out of this short trip. On to the next one.